Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen of OneNote Worthy Life, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the template feature in OneNote 2016. This is a really rich feature. There are a lot of beautiful and useful templates built right in, as well as the ability to make your own templates. I'm filming in OneNote 2016 on my Windows PC. So if your screen looks different than mine, it might be because you're using a different device or version of OneNote. Now this video will show the template function only in OneNote 2016. There's a more limited template function in OneNote for Windows 10, and I'm going to show you that and some template workarounds in my next video. That video will be linked below. In case you aren't familiar with OneNote versions, uh, users of Windows PCs have two different versions of OneNote that they can choose from at this time. The newer version is called OneNote for Windows 10, and the older version is called OneNote 2016. Now, I, along with a lot of other people, had stopped using OneNote 2016 a few years ago when the OneNote for Windows 10 version came out. The Windows 10 version was the newer version, and it provides a more consistent experience when you're using OneNote across multiple devices. Also, at the time, I didn't want to keep using a software that had a limited life. However, Microsoft recently announced that we would have OneNote 2016 for a few years still to come, so I wanted to show you this really useful feature since we do have some time to continue to use it. So since you're here, I wanted to mention that I do host a OneNote 2016 user group on Facebook. So if you want to join and connect with other people who were fans of the 2016 version of OneNote, the link will be in the description below. So OneNote 2016 has two different kinds of templates. There are built-in templates, and then there are templates that you can create for yourself. Pretty much any page you can create, you can save it as a template. So let's get started by looking at some of the built-in templates. To access the built-in templates, you're going to click on the Insert menu at the top of your screen. And then over here, second from the right, you see the Page Templates option. So I'm going to click on this, um, and it brings up this menu. The top section of the menu are templates that I've recently used, and then at the bottom we have the uh, larger page templates menu. So when I click on that bottom option, it brings up this right-hand column which contains our page template menu. Now we're going to take a look at uh, some of the templates available in a minute, but first I want to show you uh, how to insert template. Once we're here in this menu section, um, you can click on any template that you want, and OneNote will create a blank or a new page that contains the format of that template. So let's go into just, let's say, the academic tech section, and I'm going to click on the math and science notes. So you can see that um, I have a new page, which I'm going to type on, at the bottom of my page list, and it contains the template I just selected. So that's how uh, templates work. So now let's take a look at the, some of the templates that are already included in OneNote 2016. So we're in the, the very first section of built-in templates, which are academic, and I just showed you the math notes. Uh, these other templates are just different formats for note-taking in different types of academic settings. The next section of pre-made templates is for blank pages, and I'm going to click on that so you can see all, oops, so we'll close the academic section, click the uh, drop-down arrow next to blank, and these are all the different blank page templates that you have available. The thing that I think is really cool here is that they have some common page sizes. So at the top we see uh, letter and legal, and these are common sizes in the U.S., and then these A and B sizes are common in other countries. Toward the bottom, we have college ruled, and that will bring up a just a blank page of lined notebook paper or small grid, which will bring up a small grid. At the very bottom here, we have blank pages with a colored background. So it would just give you a page that looks like the standard white OneNote page. It just has a colored background, though. So the next section is for business templates. So I'm going to go ahead and click out of here, close up the blank. And we'll go into business. So, so the very first one of these is um, a project overview, and I really like this. I'm going to go ahead and add it so you can see it. Uh, the thing I like about this is that it actually has a lot of the points that are important to consider when you're starting a project. All the rest of these templates are just different formats for meeting notes, so that you can look through those if you um, have need of meeting note templates. 
So let's close this up and go into the next section, which is decorative. Now, if you love those uh, just gorgeous pages that we can find online, uh, I think you're going to like this section because these are just all decorative templates and there are some really beautiful ones in here. One of the things I really like is that you have also built into OneNote, you have a lot of fonts and font colors so that you can create a really customized page. It's, and it's just a simple way to get an artistic but functional planner or journal page. And I think that OneNote gets a little bit overlooked when people are looking for ways to make beautiful digital planner or journal pages, but it can be done. Um, and the nice thing about using these pre-made templates is that they're actual OneNote pages. So you don't have to worry about pasting anything in or having your background image move around if you are going to write on it. So let's look at a couple of these. Um, let's see, let's try chain title. So this one just kind of has a nice looking image on the top. Um, and some of the floral ones are really nice too. Let's try red and black margin. That sounds nice and, oh, that's actually not that, all you can really see is over here there's red and black. And let's just take a look at one more. This is one that I particularly like called bamboo. And I just think this is really simple but beautiful. And what I like is that the uh, graphic part of it is darker up here in where you wouldn't really be writing. And then it's kind of a background down here. Now I wanted to show you this page uh, while we're talking about decorative pages because um, this is a page using a template. It's called the Buildings Template, and I created it right here in OneNote 2016. But then I went to my iPad and pulled the page up and wrote on it with my Apple Pencil. And so the reason I wanted to show you this is because the page showed up just fine um, on my iPad, even though you know the screen is different and the resolution is different and all that. And I was also able to write on it with the Apple Pencil, and I traced these diagonal lines in the template so that you can see that even when I switched from one screen to another, the template and what I wrote on it held up really well, like the lines are exactly where I wanted them. So I think that that is just really useful and, you know, something that helps these templates to be more functional. So I'm going to go ahead and close that up. And then this last section is called planners, but really all they have here is a couple different formats for to-do lists. Um, so you can go ahead and look through those if you uh, need one. Um, now before we move on to the next section of the video where I'm going to show you some of my own templates and how to create your own templates, I want to turn your attention to these two features in the bottom of the right-hand column. Um, this Again, this right-hand column is our templates menu. So the first of the two options says to always use a specific template. And if you pick this, you can select a template, whether it's a pre-made template or one of your own, and that template will be the template used for any new page you add in this section while you're using OneNote 2016. So let me show you how this works. So I'm going to click this and I am going to pick a template called books for my new um, this is going to be the default template in this section. Now I'm going to come up here to the top of my page list and I'm going to add a page. And you can see that it's got the books template. The books are over here. It's just a little graphic image. So this is how you can, um, if you have a template, again, whether it's a pre-made one or one that you made yourself, you can have that be the template for any page that you add in this section while you're using OneNote 2016. Now, just a quick thing to note, if you do switch back to OneNote for Windows 10, you may not get the default template when you add a new page. I'll show you this in more detail and provide a workaround in the next video, which will cover templates in OneNote for Windows 10. So now that we've looked through all of the pre-made templates in OneNote 2016, and we've talked about how pages made with templates will show up in OneNote for Windows 10 and other devices, I want to show you uh, one of the coolest things with templates, which is that you can make your own. So any page you create can be saved as a template. So if you're like me and you're constantly adjusting your pages and experimenting, once you find a page you really like, you can save that page as a template and use it from then on. So I'm going to go up here to my templates 
One of the page templates I made is a custom size for my tablet screen. So for a while I was working mainly from my tablet, so I wanted to have a page that was the exact size of my tablet screen. And that's what this page is. It exactly fits my Samsung Galaxy Tab A screen. So even though this is a custom template, you would follow the same steps to add a page with this template as you would follow for any built-in template. So the one problem I do want to point out with this page is that it, um, it is possible to type beyond the border of this page. So looking at it, you kind of see the page and then you see this grayed out area to the right and you would think that you couldn't type past that. I'm going to just grab some sample text and paste that in so we don't have to watch me type. And you can see that already, even just with me pasting in, some of the words go beyond the border of my page. Um, it's not a huge deal, but especially if I'm working on my tablet, I don't like the feeling that there could be something completely off my screen that I can't even see. So it's not a deal breaker, it's just something to watch out for. So now let's go through and create a template on the spot. So this is a page that I made that um, I would actually consider using as a daily page. Um, and so if I had tweaked this and refined it and decided that this was um, the page I wanted as my daily page, I would want to create a template out of it. So I'm going to go to the templates menu by clicking insert page templates, second from the right, and then come down here to page template. At this point, I'm going to uh, draw your attention to the second of the two options at the bottom of the page template, which is to save the current page as a template. So it's going to give me a template name, and I'm going to call this daily page version one. Um, when you create this, you can also make this your default template for new pages in the current section. So if I wanted to override my previous choice, I could do that. Um, so now when I click up here to my templates, we have um, the blank tab A size paper I just showed you, and now this daily page is filed away under my templates for me to use whenever I want. Now if I if I tend to work on a daily basis, which I do, this could be really useful to set this as the default template for this section, because then each time I add a new page, this pre-made daily page would come up. This also might be useful if you were going to try and make an entire section for a month all at once. You know, each time you made a page, it would just show you one of your uh, daily pages. That's it. That is an overview of the template feature in OneNote 2016. So even though the newer version of OneNote for PC, which is called OneNote for Windows 10, has been out a few years, there are still a lot of diehard fans of OneNote 2016, and I think this template feature is one example of why. OneNote 2016 has a lot of features that just have not yet appeared in OneNote for Windows 10, and some of those features are really valuable to users. So as long as we have OneNote 2016, which we will for a few more years as of the filming of this video, we can feel free to use these features. As always, thanks for watching, and if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know you liked it. And if you aren't subscribed, please do subscribe by hitting that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye!